Let's talk about Mendel's Law of Segregation. So I think the best way to explain this is with an example. Let's suppose that we have a parent generation. So we have a mother that is homozygous dominant for the big B allele, which means that she has brown eyes and a father that is homozygous recessive for the little b allele, so he has blue eyes. The gametes that they are going to produce are big B from the mother and little b from the father. When these gametes fuse together and fertilize, they are going to produce offspring that are heterozygous with big B and little b alleles. These offspring are going to have brown eyes because the big B is dominant and will mask the recessive little b. And this is the F1 generation. Now the F1 generation will produce gametes in which half have the big B allele and half have the little b allele. So if you cross two heterozygous individuals, then in the F2 generation, our Punnett cross will look like this. We'll have one parent that has a big B and a little b, and another parent that also has a big B and a little b. And our resulting possible gametes look like this. Punnett square shows us that 25% of the offspring are expected to, to be homozygous dominant for brown eyes, 50% are heterozygous but will exhibit the brown eye phenotype, and 25% are homozygous recessive so they will have blue eyes. And the culminating idea here is that the law of segregation says that two alleles for a single gene will separate from each other during gamete formation. So they will separate and end up in different gametes. And this occurs randomly. Again, let's look at our Punnett square for the F2 generation. We can see that there are four possible gametes that can result from the cross between heterozygous F1 generation offspring. We can have homozygous dominant offspring, heterozygous, or homozygous recessive. And this is because alleles segregate during gamete formation. So ultimately, each gamete has an equal likelihood of getting a big B allele or a little b allele. And this is all because alleles separate independently or randomly during gamete formation.